next topic we're gonna touch on the grids now grids are what we call the vertical datum elements they are typically used to do used to locate columns and grids are key points of reference in which view uh, grids are key points of reference in views and grid and sheets grids are key points of reference in views and sheets all right so let's try opening up grids.rpt file here grids are located in uh, under the architectural ribbon tab and grid once we have clicked on the icon you will find that there are a few drawing tools available here we will start by drawing straight lines first and you also notice that there are also other options of which you can use to draw a curve or arc grids or you can even use to draw use it to draw multi-segment grids in which we will try out later on okay so how do we get started after we click on the straight line we will click on the start at the lower end to the upper end here now you find that you will notice that um, rabbit's grid will remember the last value being drawn being entered here so what's going to happen is if I click on this and change it instead of 6 to 1 okay, and then I remove this grid line the next time round when I use the same grid command again and I start drawing a grid it will now start with 2 okay so in order to do this I'm going to change this grid value to say 1 notice I'm not really caring too much about the precision at this point the whole idea is it will allow us to first of all place in the grids itself in a rough location alright now notice that again like the levels line there are two sets of checkboxes here in fact we can once you check on it the second set of grid bubble will appear so we can then use this to decide whether we want it we want the grid bubble to be below or we want the grid bubble to be above okay in this case for this example we're going to use it as above then. all right So right now, we're going to change the value from 1 to say A. And then we're going to click on Architecture. And then we're going to click on Creating the Grid again one more time. So what's going to happen is I will just click here to create Grid Line B, Grid Line C, Grid Line D, and Grid Line E. Now notice I'm not paying too much attention to the accuracy of how I place the grid at this point. I'm just trying to finish up the creation of the grid itself. Nor am I paying too much attention to whether or not the grid lines and the grid bubble headers are aligned properly or not. Because it really doesn't matter at this point of time because we can clean it up later on using the sketch okay, and amend method later on. Okay. So next, we're going to create the horizontal grids. I'm again going to start with drawing one line across first. And you notice it still now starts with F, which is not what we want. So we're going to change this one to 1 instead. Okay, we will then continue to draw 2, 3, and 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to put grid line 2. 3 and 4 at this point okay so once this part of the work is done we can begin to now do fine tuning and adjustments to the grid lines so how do we do this all we need to do is stretch the line so that we see this blue line this blue hidden line appearing 
so it is rabbit's way of indicating to us that the grid lines are now the grid ends are now aligned properly okay once this part is done we can still again click and drag until the third set of lines have aligned okay and then we will click again everything else will align properly okay so similarly for the grid bubbles also so i'm going to adjust this so that it will be aligned as well before we adjust everything else so i will do the same for the vertical grids as well so it will now be magnetically linked properly and with that we have more or less finished the creation of the grids for now okay next we're going to try on the multi-segment grid so again under the architecture ribbon we're going to click on grid again but instead of the straight line this time around we're going to click on multi-segment grid so in doing this by clicking on it you will find that we have gone into the grid this multi-segment grid drawing mode and in doing this what has happened is we are now within a level another level of the drawing grid so what would happen is we are now free to be able to draw a grid in a particular manner okay even if this grid is an irregular or an unusual grid you find that i have uh, you will notice that i have drawn this grid which is really really quite non rectilinear or in an angular form all right and once i have completed the drawing of the grid itself i will click on the tick here to confirm and finish up the drawing if i do not think this is the correct one and i want to abort it i will click on the cross here so i will click on this now finish edit mode and you notice now an unusual or non rectilinear grid has now been created already at this point please try out on your own now and see what happens